little story for you today about congruent integrity, which is one of the pathways on the Luminary Leader Model, and specifically how it relates to humility. I have been studying with a music teacher named Jason Davis. We meet about every other week, and we play the saxophone. So he's a saxophone teacher, and he's teaching me how to play jazz. So uh, a couple of months ago, I would say maybe six months ago, Dallas opened a new art center, and Jason was invited to commemorate the opening by producing a show there. So my husband and I went to see Jason's show. Of course, I sat on the front row, a proud student, and um, I was blown away. I was blown away by the night. I had so much energy, and I was so inspired by what I saw on that stage that night that the next week when I had my lesson with Jason, I wanted to use that opportunity to kind of get in his head about how he goes about producing such an event. I was really surprised with what he told me. He had actually produced a show about a year prior that wasn't as well received. And as saxophone players, we tend to try to impress with our horn. There's a lot of tricks you can do with the horn. It's just kind of an impressive instrument. It's very well liked, very popular. And he did a show where he basically stood in the limelight, front and center, and ran up and down that horn. People get excited about it for about five minutes. And then he says, you know, the audience starts to wane and they're just not impressed anymore. And that was a big eye-opener for him. It made him realize that doing tricks and being front and center can only engage people for so long. And his intention for this next show, the one that I was so impressed with, was to actually make connections. Make connections with the audience by making connections with everyone he shared the stage with. So he basically produced a conglomerate of musicians. They were all on the stage at some point in different spans. You know, we'd start with a little ensemble and then build out to bigger ensembles. But every moment during the night, he was making a connection with another musician, telling a story about how he met them, showcasing their instrument. That was going on all throughout the event. And I think that's what I was responding to, or were the connections. And it wasn't a domino effect. It happened very authentically, very organically. But by the end of the show, we were just alive as an audience and felt connected to not just him, but everything that was happening that night. So I thought, what a great translation for humility and how it is a representation of congruent integrity. Because a lot of times as leaders, there's a spotlight. Uh, and, all, and there's all different kinds of stages. It's not always about performance. But how can you take that spotlight and make it a beacon to illuminate the lives and contributions of others? And in doing that, how does it connect everybody and create an energy that fills the space, that fills the project, that fills the event, that fills the, the moment? And that's what I learned in Jason's story and how I think we can connect it to our practice as leaders. So, good story.